What's going on guys? For part two of our gun cluster scheme, it is preferred, okay, it is preferred that you get a, uh, a receiver or have a hot route master set up. It is much better um, if, it, if you have that. If you don't have that, that's okay. Uh, we're gonna give you a, a, an alternate setup for this. But this is really, really good for zone coverage. It's really one of the best uh, zone meters that I've found to this point in the season. Now, again, if you don't have it, we can do this out of Z-Spot. Um, we would rather not, but I'm gonna put Z-Spot in the audibles just to show you kind of what's gonna happen. So uh, we wanna do this out of Mesh Post if possible. You can do this out of Z-Spot though. And this is a really, really cool little concept. This concept, I really like it, especially if you have Hot Rod Master. It's a really easy little high-low read here. It's really, really good, especially if your opponent is not base aligning their coverage. So uh, I've got my zone drop set to 25, five and five. And you're gonna see here that I'm gonna do kind of a standard little Mabel coverage, um, if I can get the press here. So you see, this is what we're gonna get, okay? So I've got a Mabel coverage on the field. And um, what we're gonna do is we are going to take our Hot Wrap Master or our Slot Apprentice in this spot right here, and we're gonna put him on a corner route. As you can see right there, I put him on a corner route. It's this nice little sharp cutting corner route. Last video, we put him on an out. Uh, this video, we're gonna be using him on a corner route. And if you have Hot Route Master, I would recommend taking the running back triangle and putting him on a ghost route, okay? Now that's a really, really simple but really, really effective concept. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna motion the X receiver uh, to the right. You're gonna see that nobody's gonna follow him. And this is what makes this route so special. Um, when you run the cluster, um, when you run the cluster with your cluster to the wide side of the field, it's going to open up a lot of potential for you to be able to throw this ball. Now, uh, really quickly, I wanna cover one other setup here. This is a cover four style defense um, that people could run. As you can see right here, we've got cover four, and we just wanna show you really the basics of all of the different coverage shells uh, to start off here. So you see here this little corner route and ghost combination. This is a very simple thing. I like to snap it while he's still moving. Uh, and what you'll see is it's really no zone in the game that is gonna cover this route. Really what they're gonna have to do is they're gonna have to man that up but if you have mid out elite on him or something like that, you're gonna have even more success. Um, now I wanna shift for just a second here uh, to the Tampa 2, if I can get this thing to work with me. And um, I'm just gonna put the, the linebacker on the right side into a purple zone. And you're gonna see, again, same concept, just a simple little motion over. And this, this is what I love about this route, that basically no zone in the game is gonna cover it, even with that cover two or Tampa two cloud flat uh, that you just saw me run. And so we've just gone over cover three, Mabel, cover four, Tampa two. Uh, and now I just wanna show you, just for sake of the argument, I wanna show you, um, I, I, I wanna show you this cover four match defense. So uh, we go to cover four show two, and then I'm just going to simply reset my play. Whoops. And then we're just going to, I don't know what we're doing here. We're gonna get the alignment proper. As you can see right here, I've got this nice little alignment. And um, what I wanna show you is that this, the beauty of this is look at this outside quarter. You're gonna see that the outside quarter is just not gonna defend him. Now the flat zone did defend him. Um, one way that we can actually threaten that a little bit better um, is, is by either leaving, we can leave that running back on the wheel um, if we want to threaten that, that's part of that, that part of the field a little bit better. So. Again, I'm gonna audible to cover four show two. I'm just going to reset my play. Um, and then you're going to see that we're going to audible to cover four show two, just like so, and try to get this match coverage to, to match. So the other cool part is this is technically a compression set and quarter or um, quarters doesn't always match. But you see right here, this is what I'm talking about. See that easy little read right there? We turn off the match for multiple reasons. This is also a quad set, which means it's a four by one. So you're never gonna get a match coverage. The, the outside quarter is never, ever, ever going to match onto the X receiver. So it doesn't really matter what adjustment they do. You're always gonna get this read. So if you ever have any issue with zone coverage, this is basically unguardable. Now, um, I do wanna go over one little adjustment that they can do. Um, this is a very unlikely adjustment, and we're gonna talk about why here in just a minute, uh, as soon as I can get my, my coverage to base align here. Um, let me see here, let me get there. There we go, whoop, there we go. Okay, so this base align cloud. Um, so I just wanna cover this real quickly here. 
So um, this is this is why I like to put the running back on a ghost route. So you see we've motioned out the corner. This uh, cloud flat is going to play it okay, as you can see. Um, but the cool part about this is if you have like, let's say you have, um, oh, let's let's say you have like a, a little bit better route running there maybe, um, and you're playing mutt. If you again, if you snap this in motion and you have gunslinger, you can pass it down and away, and as you can see, you're going to be able to hit that read right there. The cool part about this is a lot of people are going to try this strategy of basically base aligning a cloud flat coverage. So let me show you the same coverage and let me show it to you out of cover too with a little bit more of a Mabel twist on it. Um, so you'll see right here I've got a Mabel coverage out of this cover two quarters. This is a defense that I personally like a lot. Um, this is where the ghost route is really good because it holds that flat zone. It keeps him where he's supposed to be. So you get this guy outside and what you're going to see is down and away easy read and if that's gunslinger that's a lot more open of a throw even if it's not gunslinger you see we make the read the cool part about this is this is going to force them to have to um you know play man coverage but the problem with man coverage especially from cluster is they want to if if, if anyone's ever you know ran three three five y they know that they want to use or this guy and so what they're going to do is they're going to take this guy this middle linebacker and they're going to put him in coverage and then they're going to man up with this with the right side linebacker if my controller will cooperate with me. Um, so you'll see here I'm going to man this guy up. The problem is that linebacker won't go outside to go guard him whenever he goes in motion. So you're going to see basically this right here. And now you've got outside leverage on a corner route that can't get pressed. And it's coming from a linebacker or you know a safety, whereas it's not coming from like a cornerback. Um, another example of this would be, um, so the, really the best the best thing they can do, honestly, is to go with this cover zero look. So I'm gonna show you this cover zero look. Um, this is really the best defense they can get. The problem is these crossing routes start to become a major problem in the event that this happens. Um, one of the cool parts about this, uh, this formation, in my opinion, is the fact that it's really hard to press um, you know, everybody on the field. So this is honestly probably a best case scenario for the defense, but if you put that running back on, even if you put the running back on like a table route, if you see that linebacker blitz, this is so wide open and you get this nice little quick screen. You can throw this off of a ghost route as well. It, but again, if, you re, if your read is man coverage where you see that safety motioning out, um, then you know you can easily go to something like this. So this is a really good play um, against the blitz. It's really good against zone. Um, I wanna show you really quickly here uh, what it does against, you know, what are some of the other routes are going to do. So uh, what you're going to see is if they do run man coverage, you've got this nice crossing route. You want to wait till he gets like all the way to the other side of the field. But the cool part about this being a formation that is, um, that is so heavy weighted to the opposite side of the field, a quads uh, type of formation. The cool part about this if I could get my defense to press properly, is what you're going to see is you're going to see a natural man switch. Because we're really, really flooding the side, um, you're going to see this natural man switch. And so this slot corner is going to uh, basically be getting cross manned upon. And obviously, he's not going to get jammed, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, so then the other thing that you're going to have happen, uh, honestly, man coverage, um, if they user this circle route, which they kind of have to, and I think Anyone that plays gun cluster knows um, that one of the things they're going to have to do is they're going to have to user that circle post. But I just want to show you if they don't user the circle post, you're going to see he's going to cut inside and have really nice, um, really easy separation. The other thing that's really cool about those formations, I can't stress this enough, is that when they have to make, when they make this adjustment right here, where they basically take this guy and they man him up on the X, and they're going to use her uh, over the middle of the field. I just want to show you um, the rest of the story or the rest of the play. So you're going to see again, we're going to motion in the quads and just watch how this is going to play out. You're going to see, first of all, nobody follows him. It's an easy throw. Um, but then you get all of these different man switches, uh, which are really, really nice. You can also playmaker up your, your, your drags once they get to the sideline. If they're shading underneath, that playmaker will be fairly successful for you. So this is just a really, really good passing concept. Um, specifically against man. Another way that you could run this if you wanted to be really, really good against man coverage is just simply put R1 on an out. 
uh, or a, a whip route, just like that right there, you're going to see he's going to get unbumpable, and now you see that this running back route is even more open as basically a little quick screen uh, to the back. That running back route is really, really hard to defend because you have so many receiving threats on this side of the field. Um, that's just going to be really, really hard. So, again, you're going to see right here, easy if they blitz you out of zone. You're just throwing that easy table route for a quick three, three to five yards. So um, this for, this is kind of the second piece of this. Um, now, real quick, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, you can do, you can do this at a Z spot. Um, so what you would, what you, basically what you would do is you would hitch, um, hitch the square receiver. And then what I would do is I would take X and I would put him on like a little dig route, like a smart routed in route. And then maybe take the running back and you can just put him on a little uh, wheel route to the right. And this is the same, you basically can get the same concept from this right here. And you're going to see that that R1 route is going to get pretty open against uh, really any zone coverage. So that's how you can do it if you don't have uh, Hot Route Master or you don't have Tight End Apprentice or, or uh, Slot Apprentice, I'm sorry. Um, this is a really, really little easy read. Uh, but again, you're going to see this, this route is just so good. And then if, again, if they run man coverage on you, and this, uh, this tailback right here is out here, you can throw that ball. Uh, I just would tell you, you know, I think the tail route's a little bit more effective um, as a man beater from this set. But anyways, that is uh, Mesh Corner out of the cluster. If you want to get the entire Arizona guide, uh, I'm going to leave a link to the full offensive guide in the description that goes over not just the cluster, but goes over the entire playbook. Uh, I think Arizona is one of the best passing offenses in the entire game. And uh, the cluster is probably one of just, just one piece of a bigger picture.